and welcome back to Belle's Books. Today I have a super exciting video for you. Um, it's another book review and this time it is of The Mars Room by Rachel Kushner. So I bought this book at the weekend and as far as I can tell this book has super mixed reviews and I have mixed feelings about it too. So on the one hand I really appreciated what the book was trying to say to me. But on the other hand I really didn't enjoy the actual structure of the narrative and it was very emotionally distant, which made it really hard for me to connect to. The book is actually focused on women and women in prison. In terms of what the point of the book is, I really enjoyed it. It focuses almost entirely on women, what it's like to be poor and female in the United States and how this is a widespread national problem. And you see this within the prisons. There are groups of people, women, who are exactly the same and fit together. It's kind of cliquey. And you kind of just get this idea that no situation is special or unique. It's cyclical and repetitive and these women's crimes and situations are just kind of clones of each other. You could argue that the main narrator, Romy, is situation is special and unique, but I'm almost certain that that's not the point. I feel like the point is that there are many women exactly in her position, but her character as a narrator is very self-absorbed which makes it seem like she's unique but I don't think she is actually she's actually just kind of like a stock character for an incarcerated woman there's a focus on sexual abuse and rape um, and a kind of reliance on sex work the poorer the woman the more likely it is that she's going to need to use sex work um, there's a focus on addiction and all these things kind of come together to talk about prison cycles in the United States. The legal system doesn't protect them or help them better their lives. There's a kind of sense of inevitability in terms of their crimes. Um, they're forced into things and there's a strong theme of how their socioeconomics affects their incarceration. The book also focuses on the quality of legal defence for these women and kind of points to a lack of awareness, especially on the part of judges and the jury, um, to the situation behind each crime and how kind of women, were f women are forced into it or fall into it as a result of outlying factors. Um, adding on to this, within the prisons themselves, there's no compassion to incarcerated mothers. Um, the guards kind of say outright that they did this to themselves and if they'd wanted to be a mother they would not have committed the crime which I think was supposed to be really emotional and sad and yes it provoked empathy but it didn't help me connect to the narratives and it didn't make me feel sadness in the way I almost wanted to feel it. It's just like Rachel Kushner is talking about all these terrible things but she somehow manages to say all of this without ever once making you cry and it's like I'm not sure. I feel like that's a bit of a failure on her part because if you can read about this terrible situation, which is obviously horrible, like as a reader you have empathy for the women, but you just can't connect to them. I spent most of the read feeling distant from the narrators, even Romy, the main protagonist narrator, who's written in first person. Um, I just, I couldn't connect to her. And then on top of this, the ending seemed incomplete and it was very difficult to understand. Romy was supposed to reach some kind of emotional understanding. She can't articulate what it was supposed to be, but as a reader, that's incredibly unhelpful. So in terms of the narration, um, the Marsdom is written in cycles of kind of tragedies. There are lots of tragic stories with many different narrators. So the positive of this is that no story was isolated and they do all connect, which means that the narrative kind of falls together and makes the idea of prison seem larger than just one building. It kind of turns into a national, I want to say community, but that's not really what I mean. But yeah, national community and then goes on to be able to explain all the negative um, things about this national community and why it's a national problem. Um, the problem with these tragic kind of snapshot things is that they go by so quickly and you're thrown about so often that it's just, it's so choppy that you just can't really ever connect to a single narrator. At the same time as there's all this choppiness, the pace of the actual book is so slow. Nothing happens for so long. It takes ages for Rachel Kushner to get to the point of any of her narratives, which is fine. I'm sure she wanted to add detail and I'm not saying that that wasn't with intention, but I am saying it made it hard to read. 
that maybe this sounds quite harsh but it was just my thoughts and i do think it is an important read so i would recommend it if you have an extra few hours on your hands that was my thoughts on the mars room i rated it three stars on goodreads in case you're wondering um for the reasons i've already talked about so i hope this helps you in deciding whether or not to read this i think it just depends what you want what you're looking for from it at the end of the day um and i think maybe i was looking for quite a lot from it which is why my review sounds a bit harsh yeah thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe i appreciate it and i would appreciate any support you can give me